Joe Sudman. Do another war game review. Um, this time I'm gonna look at Corellia 44. What's Corellia? No one knows. Uh, by Multi Man Publishing. It's in the uh, SCS Standard Combat series of games by the gamers. Um, I'll open it up, show you what's involved, and I'll talk about it. So let me zoom in and show you what's inside the box. Ooh, this game has Ghost. And then it's got the boss track. Pretty cool. See how mad Stalin's getting. Uh, this is just your basic war game. Traditional counters. It's kind of got a glare there. Uh, traditional counters. You know, you got your your movement and your attack and all that defense. And then you have, you know, it comes with one sheet of counters. I got two copies of the game, so this is my copy I've not played. But uh, so you got your one sheet of counters. You got your Corellia 44 rules, eight pages. And you've got your uh, standard combat series rules, which is only eight pages. Very good. You got a couple of dice to come with the game. That's it. Let me show you a little trick here. Every gamer should have a piece of plexiglass. So you just lay your plexiglass over the top there. Look at that. Woohoo! All right, I'm going to take a break right here and I'm going to explain the SCS rules. Um, won't be a very in depth because it's designed to be very simple. Now, the SCS rules, standard combat series, have been around since 1994. They've been refined and refined. There's many games in this series. Uh, go to Board Game Geek and type in, you, you can find all the games in this family. And they all use the same rules, which is beautiful. That each game in the series, like Corellia 44, will have a complementary uh, rule packet that either modifies or adds rules to the SCS rules. So if you know this, that's half the battle, right? That G.I. Joe used to say. There's just four steps. Each player takes their turn. There's move, combat, uh, exploitation, and supply. Movement is very simple. You just move hex to hex, uh, depending on how many movement factors each piece will have, because each piece, I'll show you a piece here. There's three numbers on them. The last number is how many pieces, how many, how many hexes he can move. And that also depends on terrain. So if there's woods, it may be less. If there's a river, he has to can't cross the river. He's gotta go over the bridge, things like that. So they move, that's the first thing you do. Second thing that you do is combat, and combat is simple odds. There's no odds in the SCS book because every different combat, every different game is going to have their own combat results table on the back. So you add up all your attackers, you take that total, that's the first number on the counter, and you, all the guys that are attacking into the hex, adjacent hex, you add them all up, you see what the defending player, what his uh, total strength is, you look at the odds, so maybe two to one, three to one, whatever, and you roll two dice. And then depending on your dice roll, it's going to give you a result. And typical results would be, you know, uh, defender is going to lose two steps, and I'll show you what a step is, I'll talk about a step, and it has to retreat so many hexes. Or attacker could lose, theoretically. Attacking one to two odds and you roll bad. Why do you attack one to two odds? Desperate, I don't know. So anyway, uh, so you have to take steps, and so every every piece, like I showed in that one piece, where that piece I had in. So this little piece here, this is a pretty, uh, pretty tough uh, finish unit. It's got three steps. All right, step one, step two, you know, it, it takes three steps to destroy this unit. And you flip them over for a step, and you can reduce them to a smaller unit for a step. Um, so that's what steps are. Once the steps are all gone, the unit's destroyed, it's gone. Um, so that's combat. And then, there's exploitation. Certain units are going to be able to, the, typically the mobile units, the trucks and the tanks and things like that, um, if they've not moved or if they've destroyed the enemy and they've left a hole in the lines, then you can exploit. You can go through that that hole that you've created in the enemy defenses. And that's exploitation or exploit step. And then finally is the supply. And you just trace your supply back. It's pretty late. It's the supply is like you know three paragraphs that, that explain all the supply rules in this here. Um, that's it. A couple of things that you have to know for SCS, you have to know what a ZOC is. And maybe you've heard war gamers talk about ZOCs. A ZOC is a zone of control. Wherever your unit is, every hex that's, including the hex that's in, but every hex around it is a zone of control. So enemy units will exert a zone of control. So if you have to retreat through an enemy zone of control, you must forfeit one step to do so. Um, and that's, that's, that sounds silly, but that's basically, that's all the rules for SCS. It's just eight pages. Some of these pages are, are examples. The whole back page is just designer notes. Um, that's it. Pretty simple, huh? 
So like, then you take these eight pages and then you know the rules inside out and then you get the new game, Corellia 44. So we look at this and it's gonna show us how are the rules different for Corellia 44. So they're gonna have special Soviet rules, special Finnish rules, Soviet rules, Finnish rules. And then after that, it's just scenarios. Plus, there's the full campaign scenario, the opening scenario, um, set up, you know, for that. And then there's designer notes. So really, the Corellia 44 rules are only technically one, two, three, three pages. Three pages in, a, in one column. And then you've got one, two, three pages of scenarios, a page and a half of designer notes, and the back is just a cheat sheet. It's got your your combat results table and your air power and barrage tables and you know things special for this battle. Simple. All right, so that's Corellia 44. What's not to like? Um, you know, only eight pages of the rules to learn if you know the SDS system. Uh, good quality production. You know, you got the little guy, the Finnish versus the big giant. You know, the little wasp stinging at the uh, the lion. So you can, uh, as you play the different sides, it feels totally different. Um, it's got the boss track and the ghost, so there's lots of neat little things for this if you're into the SCS. I liked it a lot. Um, I think you should pick up a copy. And I think my only complaint was just the title. It's not really catchy. Corellia 44, the last campaign of the Continuation War. How many people even know what the Continuation War is? Something like Finland 44 would have been more exciting in my opinion, but hey, who am I? So there you go. Corellia 44 by Multiman Publishing. You can pick it up right now online. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.